today I'll be showing you a demo of this canvas library through which we can create such apps which have the use of brush which we can set the size of we can change the transparency and we can change the color of we can randomly draw anything on the canvas so let's get started I have this uh, sample ready here it's an empty project uh, it is in Kotlin but you can also use it in Java so we'll follow this library so we'll first import the widget pack dependency into our project level file and then uh, we'll also import this dependency which is the uh, drawing canvas one and we'll import it into our app level gradle file then we'll click on sync now and we and we will wait for it to download and meanwhile let us explore the library here we simply have to add this view to our xml and then we'll have to reference it using it in custom id or any id that you want to give and we'll reference it and it has some set uh, set functions through which you can set the alpha which is the trans uh, transparency you can set the color we can even set the size of the brush there is unlimited undo and redo okay yeah so it is done now we'll try to actually yeah so here we can do match parent and match parent and since we are using constraint layout we will simply constrain the top to the top, bottom to the bottom, like this for now. And then we will just test it for now. Correct in our emulator to just check if the normal functionality of scribbling on the screen is working or not. And later on, We'll be referencing it. So let us start giving it an ID. Get an ID of drawing view. Okay. You can give anything here. I have chosen to give it drawing view. Then we'll reference it here. Drawing view dot. It has some set brush size, set brush color, and set brush alpha properties. Which we will be accessing on our click buttons implementing later on. And yeah, so uh, this has done, and yeah, we can scribble it easily. Okay, so it is working perfectly. Now we'll add some buttons, image buttons to be precise. Now I have created some UI. Uh, simply, I've added some buttons button undo, button brush, button color, and button redo. These are just to manipulate the values. Correct. So now uh, I'll just reference them. So first let us just make the easiest one, which are undo and redo. Correct. So button undo, then we do set on click listener. And simply we will reference the drawing view, which is the ID of our custom view. Correct. We have given it the ID drawing view. And we'll reference it and just call the undo function. And that's it. And we'll also do the redo one, set on click listener, drawing view dot redo. Okay, let's test it. And then later on, we'll also add a method to change the style, rather the color and the width or the width stroke of the brush. So 
okay so we'll draw some rules and then we'll undo it it redoes all the way around okay so this works perfectly as expected now the color picker so for that we can simply use a library or for now we can just uh, make a custom color or rather for demo purpose we'll just make a simple color change correct uh, dot set brush color or dot color dot we'll make it default okay we'll make it for example green okay uh, red both the color okay we have to create the color better we can check the colors.xml file okay teal 200 yeah we'll make it teal 200 on the button change correct on, on the button click and on the second button click which is our okay yeah this button button brush dot set on click listener we'll just change the brush size for now to a big number which would be for example 20 okay and yeah let's test this okay so initially this is what the stroke sizes are looking now okay it is thicker and when i click on color yeah we are getting the different color so all of these functions are working and again we can undo all the way and redo completely okay so this was the small demo we also have some other functions like, uh, for example, let us add another button. Which button? Maybe this cleaning. Okay, so we have added this cleaning button uh, and we'll name it button dot clear screen. Correct. And then inside the main activity, we'll reference it and set its on click listener as drawing view. Sorry, drawing view dot clear drawing board. Okay. And also here for now, we'll also change, we'll make it thicker and we'll change its transparency as well on click. Uh, set brush alpha to to very light 100 it takes values from 0 or 1 to let me just comment it out yeah 0 to 255 255 is the opaque and 0 is completely transparent so here we are making it 100 which is translucent and this almost takes the values from 0 to 35 or 30 okay uh, and this can take any uh, color correct yeah okay so here we are also manipulating the alpha or the transparency let's see Okay, let's draw something at first. 
and then transparency is set correct and then we'll change the color and now undo and then we'll clear the drawing board then we can only then redo and undo certain objects okay so this was the demo for the library drawing canvas this is made by me and if you like it do use it and definitely give it a star thank you